Well, she isn't just serving a sentence. She's also serving Idahoans in crisis. As six on your science, Madeline White shows us in today's Finding Hope, one Boise woman is spreading her own messages of hope despite being incarcerated. Even while serving a sentence with the Department of Correction, one woman says helping prevent suicide here at the Idaho hotline has also given her life purpose and hope. Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline. Even though I'm incarcerated and locked up, but when I hear one of those calls, it breaks my heart. Tamara Padilla is no stranger to mental anguish. I uh, had an incident happen to me when I was 13 years old. I was raped, and so I turned to alcohol to kill my pain. I didn't want to tell my family because I, I was young, and it was um, kind of humiliating in a way. Eventually, her self-medication landed her in prison on a felony DUI charge. Then almost three years ago, they moved her to a minimum custody facility, offering nonviolent offenders the chance to get a job in the community. Padilla soon became one of the first inmates to volunteer with the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline, and not because she was required to. I had some family members in, who attempted but didn't complete suicide, and so it was something dear to my heart. Padilla went through 55 hours of training. She now answers calls every Thursday. Sharon Lightning says she's one of the best volunteers they've had. She has empathy um, and she can connect with people where they need to be, where they need to be heard. So she's very effective. Padilla says helping people is in a way helping her in her recovery from addiction. I'm sharing my experience, strength and hope and saying yes, this happened to me and it is happening to you, but here is the resources and here what we can do to help this. The Nez Perce tribe member now coming full circle with a special aim towards helping her tribe, a tribe that the Department of Health and Welfare says sees a much higher suicide rate in its own county compared to the rate statewide. There is no hotlines like this up there on their uh, real areas. So this is, what I'm work this is why I'm glad I got into this because I can go back and help, uh, you know, help my tribe, help my people. Padilla has one year and nine months left of her sentence, but when she gets out, she says she plans on being a champion for hotline awareness, a resource she wishes she'd had after her assault. I wish I would have had somebody to talk to, you know, somebody that I could just vent to, cry to. Till her release, she's hoping she'll be granted Skype time with members of her tribe so she can speak directly to them about the hotline. I keep asking about it and keep pushing, so hopefully it will happen. Text or call the number on your screen to get 24-7 confidential help if you or someone you know is exhibiting warning signs or having thoughts of suicide. In Boise, Madeline White, 6 on your side.